Welcome back, everyone, to the Fire Rises mod for Hearts of Iron 4 and host. That's Michael Albert. Um, but right now, we're playing as good old DJT, Donald Trump, Vanguard of America, and this has been a crapshoot. This has been actually one of the toughest things I've ever had to do um, with uh, pretty much any mod. Like, trying to play as Donald Trump in this mod is almost impossible. I've done a few other focuses um, since the last episode. Of course, we consulted Congress, and then we maintained the balance. I've gone ahead and done desperate measures. Uh, this war for America has been anything but forgiving for us. With no longer, we no longer have the luxury pre-war America's vast military and government resources. Knowing this, every tactic, strategy, and option available to our government and military must be considered. Even though some may call them desperate measures, they will most likely be critical in keeping ourselves in this fight. We must be careful and not waste any time, money, or resources on anything that if we if we want to win this battle for the nation. So, um, uh, and we do, still need to mediate with the military, which will be good. Uh, lobby for military. Uh, and then utilize military ex expertise. We can keep going over this route, which is cool, but I think the right side is really where we need to be. I have Providence. Oh, you lose some national fury, but you get another campaign slot, which is not bad. Anchor to intelligence agency. Get more stability as well, and you can finally get some compliance, which actually be really nice. Uh, let's do that one first. In our effort to muster as much of America's political and military assets, we've been able to successfully seize a sizable portion of pre-war America's intelligence apparatus. The intelligence agencies of this country are second to none, and have information gathering tools and skills that are unprecedented in their reach and sophistication. Under our own dedicated agency, the National Defense Intelligence Agency, we put, put all these assets to use and quickly close the gap or even overtake our enemies in the information tech intelligence gathering. However, we must tread lightly, as our skills and clandestine nature may hide sinister machinations that could cause a lot of issues for us in the future. So, not bad. And like I said earlier, we are currently doing what? Ah. Fight the welfare state. The welfare state is something we need to deal with as it promotes laziness and unproductivity. So get more political power, get a little more uh, personal expense factor, get a little more stability, and move towards Congress. So we're going to try to go with the congressional route. Um, right now we are towards Congress, not the military route. Congress expansion. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, we have several options here. The American Civil War, of course. Um, we have to activate the first line of defense, which will lower our national fury, which is not great. We get more divisions, which we honestly probably could use. So we're going to do that first. Ooh, raise a minute, man, huh? Call it Western Reserves. But we don't want to have too low national fury. Uh, we got Congress here as well. We have 55%. And we're going to hold a small rally, perhaps? Yeah, let's go and do that. But yeah, as you can see, we're doing okay. We did take Chicago, which is nice. But trying to destroy the divisions is uh, nearly impossible. Hello. Uh, the state of Florida has won, uh, defeated MS-13. Downsize the bureaucracy. You get a lot more political power, which I do like, too. Um, oh, well, now we know national fury. God dang it. We could unite the party. Sounds like real life, maybe, but... Alright, so, marshal the military. So, this moves to the right side, which is the military. Active army. Modify American Constitutional Army. If selection effect, you lose 40 army XP. Versus mobilize the militias. So, you move this towards... Uh, left side, towards the side of the military. Arm the masses. Stand your ground. So, you go to the right side, towards the military. So, the marshal the military sounds like a... Uh, Move to the right. So, mil really militaristic. I mean, that's the way I want to go for military. I kind of want to go. We were going down the con conditional, conditional, congressional route. Um, towards the sides of the military. Because if we go towards the left side, that's Congress. So, it sounds like mobilizing the militias and relying on the militias is more of the congressional route. For the patriotic duty, spread the mindset of struggle, get more militia loyalty. Um, that would help organization and attack, which would be good. Army reorganization would be extre is extremely important to focus on. We need a lot of army XP for this, though. Um, so, as much as I want to do mo marshal the military, we're going to mobilize the militias. We're going to arm the masses. This is probably a really bad idea. The First Amendment has not stopped the deep state from establishing its choke on a way of life. Our hope now rests on the Second Amendment, especially the militias who are willing to restore our way of life. No amount of bombs and tanks would smoke us up, or as long as we keep our rifles by our side. It would be great. Donald Trump's got a strong hold here. So we're trying to hold as best we can. We did lose a tiny bit of territory. Looks like, hello, Southern Federal Command is not doing great. Uh, but it's been very, uh, not great. I mean, they do have European allies helping them out. We've been able to hold for the most part. But it's been, it's been so rough. This is so tough. If you've done this before, please let me know in the comments below because I'd like to know your opinion on how you achieved, oh God, um, doing okay here. Because look at that. I mean, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. We can't really hold the line, unfortunately. Apparently, it was green, and now it's red. Oh, look at the warlocks. Uh, I'm going to send you over here, maybe. 
Yeah. If this goes really poorly, I'm going to use Gon's Command or something here. Because. Uh, uh, oh, there's one over here. That's good. Uh, get to the rest of the line, y'all. Because we need to defend. Really freaking badly. The main goal is just to defend, anyways. Um, did you guys get there? Yeah, you would. I hope I don't have these consequences. I mean, we're throwing our sol other soldiers in too, which is great now. But still. Um, lobby for Congress. We want more loyalty and Congress support. Expand the conventional budget. You get more money, that's not bad. Lobby for militias. Get more loyalty. It's not bad. I like mil loyalty. But we also need soldiers, right? Right. And we will lobby for Congress next. Weekly balance power change. More market level support. More loyalty from Congress. Because that will give us a slightly more political power too, which we could use as well. As opposed to that, um, utilize revolutionary nostalgia or rehabilitate the military. Yeah, I'll get more attack into organization. Uh, and our fight against internal enemies. We have uh, been a little too excessive when it comes to comb combing our army for such traitors. It is time that we show our due respect and corrections for our undue zealotry. We'll closely review officers and personnel that were under previous scrutiny and rehabilitate those who may have been the victim of too much prosecution for suspected disloyalty. Most importantly, we will elevate the army to a position of renewed importance that will hopefully mend any poor sentiments that were instilled within the party republic. Only when our soldiers and officers have renewed faith in us, along with confidence that they can conduct their efforts without wasteful intervention, will victory become certain. Looks like they're actually okay-ish, for the most part. Not everywhere. Um, oh, I, I, I think it's fine. Uh, get up here, and I'll get here too. Get here too. I think the South Carolina the Black Liberation Army. Well, that's not good for them. National Socialist Movement is clear of the Black. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta be careful of these guys. So we're mobilizing them. Re rehabilitate the military, which would be great. Try them well, up more divisions. Spread the mindset of struggle, more organization, attack, and reinforce. This cannot be sugarcoated. America is in the midst of a great hardship and suffering. Ever to come out victorious from this turmoil, we must accept the fact that this road to triumph will be a hard one. Everyone, from the lowest enlisted soldier to the highest ranking politician, must now embrace a mindset of struggle. We'll spread the message of grit, dedication, and toughness throughout every facet of society. America was born through struggle, and it shall be reborn through struggle again. You're doing okay. Command power would be nice for over here. What's going over here? Well, we're at least holding out. They love, 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 love attacking like crazy. Uh, so we're okay there-ish. I want to really focus on more arty soft stack. We're not really using that. Basic armored ATGMs. Basic armored ATGMs. Well, anything for the military first here. Uh, maybe air support. That would be good to do. A few more soldiers here. There we go. Let me pad out the line. Oh, do we have... Oh. Liquid? Oh, look at that. We have no debt. Um, I guess we could buy. We could buy some stuff. I guess. Yeah. Why not? With all this, America's call. More defense. Hold the line. Defend your family. Arm the masses. More militia attack and defense. That's interesting. Uh, what are we missing here? We're missing a lot of things. It looks like the basic stuff. Of course, we're missing tanks. Artillery's okay. We are out of a lot of infantry equipment. Um, how about we buy some Kalashnikovs? Ah, oh, we love the Jews here. Yeah, we'll see. Um, that's not good. Militia. You know what? We're here. We're going to arm the masses. Right now, where are we at? American Constitutional Army. Yeah, we're working on it. Heavy, heavy focus on defense. Mindset of struggle. Or we do I Providence. Uh, I do want to get some compliance gain. Because right now we took Chicago, which is... Oh, wait. It's core state. But yeah, we're taking Chicago. Home front warfare. So we're actually doing okay. For now-ish. But still. That's why we built those forts there. Uh, Michigan is gone. Well, I was like most of it. I'm very concerned about what could happen up here. Um, grab some of this. Ma man, basic man portable air defense systems. Do we have anything like that? We need some man pads. Man. Portable. 
Play two GMs. Hey, we got money. Might as well use it, right? Um, you know what? Let's grab some of you guys, too. Let me grab you. I'm going to shove you right there. Is there anything else we do here? No. Oh, I'm actually Congressional Lean. Daily political power goes up. More division defense. Creature front square in New York. Over here you get more attack, which would be nice, but still. You know, the picture fund's doing really well. How's it going down here? Southern Federal Command versus Matt so the Triple K. And Florida looks like it's doing quite well against the Atenbaffer divisions. Which is not, not bad. Uh, the Brits struggle. I Providence, very nice. Oh, National Intelligence Defense Agency is good. Can't lobby for balance. Oh. That's alright, whatever. You like more fury. We're doing okay. Not great. But we're doing okay. France assumes leadership of NATO. Okay, interesting. Uh, lobby for militias. Far right coup in Croatia. What else we got here? Oh, we should probably do a focus. Yeah. Surprised they're not attacking even more, though. Uh huh. There you go. Uh, you're gonna need this. We're definitely gonna need that. I want to try to attack, but we'll see. Central America War, very cool. Militias. Uh -huh. Conservative popularity, or conservative support. Expand the budget. Guide the army. More army XP gain, monthly military development. It's not bad, really. Really, command power gain. Oh, Ziggunov is one. Ah, we'll get that one first, why not? Better artillery is nice. Good self propelled gun, yes. How bad is it for us right now? The man is 25% attack. Uh, Mexican authority collapses. Very cool. Well, I mean, can we try an attack? I kind of doubt it would do anything for us that will. So let me touch this. Let me touch this. Well. Lafayette. Redneck. Well, there goes Redneck Revolt. Anything here? Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty good. Alright, so that's good. What do we need? Restructure the IC. Reboot the Intelligentsia. Crush the Deep State. Back the Blue. Army reorganization. The War for America has proven itself to be require a lot more structural changes than previously anticipated. We must not wait for our enemies, whether it be internal or external, to provoke us to change the composition of our army. Based on what we've seen so far, along with current anticipated threats, we will restructure and reorganize our forces to be fully capable of dealing with all, with all such challenges. We must face and embrace an ultimate truth. A poorly organized and structured army cannot win a modern conflict. So, available spirit doctrine, doctrine innovation, leader experience gain, land army reduction cost. This helps us a lot. I don't think attacking would serve us very well. But we could try it. Oh, oh hold on. Yeah, I'll pass along initially. Can you guys do this? Probably not. Yeah, you're gonna be suffering too much attrition and whatnot. Alright, so what do we got here? John Jones. What a small rally. More loyalty from everybody. Look, a lot of congressional loyalty. Very loyal, loyal. Are we another person here? Patriot Front's doing quite well up there. We got a bunch of Nazis in uh, Michigan. APLA is formed. Northwestern Red Army is formed. Federal Air Command, Texas is a mass league of the South fighting black people. Yeah. Sounds about right. Welcome to America.
Yeah, but uh, yeah. When I published the last, the first video of this episode, um, yeah, it is what it is. I tr I tried to time as best I could. Do we have money. Yeah, we'll buy from the Chinese or whatever. The German markets as best we can too. Nice. Uh oh, hello. Yeah, that's right. So you guys are here. I want you to have as much defense as possible. Uh, two, two, two. Chris Hill, reconnaissance, camouflage. Camouflage expert. Oh boy. I want you to go through two, three, four. If you can even do that. That'd be awesome. Crap. Well, yep, maybe not. You ought to hold. I would like you to force defense. We'll see. Maybe not. You're gonna die. No. They were ready for us. No. Fair siege works. Mesh of Fury is good. What vehicle market? Can we buy anything? Ten oh, ten pound. Kraus, Maffel, Wegmans. Well, this gives us more billions of tanks. State loss. Oh, bro. Fortify Iowa. Uh huh. Stoic survival. Defend your family. Hold the line. In defense. Uh. You know, get more militia loyalty. Why not? Twenty twenty four. Third gen APCs. So it says, can you play as UK or France in this mod? Well, let's take a look see. Do they even need focus screen? Technically you can, but yeah, they do. I'll probably play them sometime. So France, definitely. And the UK? Uh, not quite, I guess. So. Of course, the Russian Soviet Federative uh, uh, Socialist Republic. Yeah, it's weird that they were attacking me a lot more off screen. But I'm kind of okay with them not attacking us for now. Army organization is very good. It's fine to grab that too. What else we got here? We're running about out of Army XP. National militias. Oh, it fishes right there too. Utilize revolutionary nostalgia. How do we do this stuff? Oh. On the back foot. America was a nation born through a violent struggle for freedom. This is a legacy we will fully embrace and utilize to its full extent in our public relations campaigns. Ever that we promote our cause will be a moment where we invoke the American revolutionaries. The patriots that fought against tyranny then will be used as a model for the patriots of now. America's revolutionary past will be the bedrock that motivates their own revolutionary struggle today. Chaos and Colombian chaos, okay. And about the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment of our Constitution is one of the cornerstones of America's democracy, but unfortunately many do not share our sentiments. Our enemies tried to deprive so many Americans of the rights to bear arms, only proving what so many were suspecting. This right must now become a rallying cry for all loyal patriots who wish to defend the constitutional rights from tyranny. And our public campaigns will invoke the importance of the Second Amendment as the ultimate weapon that everyday Americans have in the defense. Uh, of this nation. We'll make our citizens proud and motivated to fight knowing that their rights are on the line in this war. And then we can do national militia, I guess. Armor innovations in book the second amendment. No. Oh. Oh, national militia. The militia has been raised to fight alongside the regular forces are a great benefit to us, but the disjointed nature might pose an issue in the future. Therefore, we'll create a major, singular uh, national militia that will be much closer under control from our military high command. This new national militia will combine the grid and patriotism of the common citizenry with a more organized and centralized nature of our military command structure. Just as the American revolutionaries fought the British with citizen militias, we too shall defeat Ooh. Uh, our enemies of today with citizens fighting in a militia. Army education. Army XP gain. That'd be good to do. Victory at hand. So we're missing a lot of vehicles but, and, and airplanes. Wow. Soviet basic multi role airframes, huh? So, Peter Font will form eventually. Florida's doing okay. Adam Buff is not doing great. So they're killing each other, too. Where are we at with. Uh... I'm doing it with that. Okay, with that for now. Anybody 
in Taiwan. It is what it is. It happens. When you start raising more militia divisions, more resistance in West Virginia. Sure, I have a thousand guns. So I guess if we can support that. What do we got here? Yeah, I might go back and redo this. This is almost like too easy holding out. So build. There you go. Oh, well, there's that. Ooh, air's the cause. Reinforce rate goes up. I like that. One bite at a time. I can do that too, why not? So they're attacking and getting attacked all across here. Now might be the time to try to attack. Do you have anything offensive? Yeah. Could you try this? Oh, you're definitely gonna lose in definitely some locations here. Association Democratic States. John Kelly's been wounded. Oh, hello. Oh. That's interesting. Could we win doing this? Hmm, probably not. Oh, they're forcing the attack on us as well. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we're doing okay there. Desperate measures. Battle of New York. They're doing okay-ish. Queen Elizabeth dies. Book the Second Amendment's good. National Militia. So these guys have kind of stalemated here. Stalemated kind of here, too. They've pretty much been in a stalemate. Texas National Movement's doing okay. Aryan Freedom Network, huh? They're actually doing well against the Nazis. Not good. Anything up here? Reunify America, help Western Reserves. Oh, hey, and we appeared. Look at that. Just in case, we're going to come back with a good old view. Just want you to hold out. Combat engineers are nice. So not tw quite 2024, 2013. Sure. Hold another small rally. Uh, do we need naval army speed for this at all? No. So we actually do what do we need to. I guess we can do. Huh, reinforce rate. Infantry fighting vehicle organization. CSTO. Hmm. I'm not sure which land doctrine to choose. I never chose a central one. Modern deep battle. Large of offensive fronts. Main common thing combat width goes down. Mechanized wave. Continuous offenses. Or this side. Relentless bombardment. Gripping advance or joint all operations domain. Mobile warfare. Italian flexibility. Um, oh, we'll go with the Silk Western Doctrine, I suppose, for now. Oh, oh, can we beat the Brits there? Oh, maybe we can. Look at that. Oh, well, that's not good.
Oh, we're going in. You're literally just there to stall them. And we're actually doing okay-ish. Upper Peninsula? Bruh. Bruh, what are we supposed to do about that? What is this? Buffalo Anarchist Commune. Sure, guys. Sure. Oh, we're out of fuel. That also is probably not for... Hello. Attack... Where do we get? Attack helicopters. Right there, I guess. Recon tanks, light armored cars. Even this bed. You guys can hold for now. I'm gonna stop attacking for now because we just literally do not have enough uh, stuff here. I don't mind you guys finishing this though. You might actually be able to win here. I don't like that we're taking. We have supply problems here though. Come on, win here. Crook of Illinois. Uh huh. Very loyal. Loyal is not bad. Trade in the economy. So we could use more stuff here. We definitely need more oil. Just like some more smidgen. It's good. Mm. Get more of that. We can actually use those later on the back foot. The enemies are closing in on us. We might find ways to put ourselves back in the race of the capital on our efforts to save America. Will be all for naught. Be aggressive. You. Be a scavenger. Eh, nothing I really care about there. Infantry stuff. Armor division defense. We have combined arms for now. Nothing I really care for there. You get three light mechanized, very nice. Sure. Plenty to look on. Why can't you just take the stupid frickin' tile? Oh, we actually won to look at that. Alright, that's the case. Um, we need to get that supply point, so we're actually gonna go here and then go to Indianapolis. Drive it home. Let's see, Congress. Yes, ammo types. Screw it, I just wanna go ahead and grab that. That's fine. Get y'all's butts in there. Might be able to win, maybe. Maybe not. Picture Fund's doing quite well. They're trying to take Philadelphia. How's Florida looking? The same. How's South looking? The same, for the most part. That's annoying. What else can we attack? Texas Red Guards. Uh, they're suffering from supply issues, which is, I'm kind of okay with. What else we got here? I don't think we have any Marines. Special Forces is fine. I 
on the back foot. An adaptable army. Or freedom underground. Max entrenchment. Not all warfare is waged with men in identifiable uniform firing at each other in plain sight. To win this war, we must fight it both conventionally and unconventionally. We'll organize, direct, and find patriots to wage their fight for America from the shadows, especially behind enemy lines. Whether it be the special forces, partisans, or insurgents, freedom will be fought far away from the front lines with dedication and vigor. Even though they may not be easily seen or found, they'll carry on fighting on an important battle where we're now struggling to do so. Unification Central America. Yeah. Not probably going to invade anything, but whatever. Alright, you guys have been done very well. Uh, anybody going to be aligned for this? And not let them move. Whatsoever. Oh, Battle of Indianapolis. Oh, I got one of the genomes. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. That's the case. Um, I want you guys to go about right here ish. They're still fighting down there. My god. Philadelphia. Guys, a little bit of fuel. Look at that. Very nice. Uh huh. Are we out of tanks? Uh, yeah, a few of them. Okay, I want to get some planes though. What do we got here? More organization would be nice. Organization regain, recovery rate would be good. Supply consumption, militia attack, and defense. Oh, what do we got here? Entrenchment speed, defense. I do like getting more political power though. Boop. Lose a little bit of loyalty, more liquidity. Militia loyalty. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, we actually won one. Look at that. I really wonder if we can do a generic attack. We're going to save real quick first. Because we might be able to do so now at this point. Maybe. This might be a really, really bad idea. Nothing I really care about. Go. Go. Let's see what we can do against Joe Biden. Take back a country. Uh, America is in now in chaos. The entrenched elites and other treasonous elements of society have thrown this once great nation in turmoil, but not all is doom and gloom. Now is the time for true patriots of America to take charge and face our enemies. We'll marshal every government body to resource, private enterprise, and patriot that wishes to fight this grievous, glorious battle with us. Under our banner, America will be taken back away from these parasites and bloodsuckers. And everyone like that. An adaptable army. Modern warfare is almost like an evolution where uh, those who cannot adapt to a rapidly changing battlefield die with those who can go on to continue fighting. We will not allow ourselves to sit idle while our enemies adapt and change. Our armed forces will now embrace a doctrine of tactical flexibility and adaptation. All of our officers and generals, no matter how high or low in rank, must embrace whatever tactics, strategy, technology, or change in structure that is needed to get ahead of, uh, of our enemies. This mantra will be taught in every unit and officer post will be this. An adaptable army is on the army that goes on to fight another day. Are we doing okay? Okay, yeah, we're pushing in, alright. Uh, I mean, of course, we have only so much fuel, which doesn't help, but you know, whatever. Taking Indiana. We're taking it. Look at We're in freaking Tennessee. Yeah, they must not be doing super well. I mean, they've already lost. Oh, it looks like half of Pennsylvania against Patriot Front. Yeah, we're not doing well up here, anyways, but still. And Indiana is not known for having tons of uh, oil. Oh, it actually forced... Oh, my gosh. Good. Good force of defense. Oh. Republic of Texas. Oh, oh, he this now. Work with the small governments. We're going to an adaptable army. Well, we're doing okay. June 2023. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. What do you got for us? What is this? 
Resistance to occupation, Indiana. Well, what do you expect? We're even on local autonomy. Oh, how uh, about reconciliation? Right, we're fighting the Nazis now. Hey, we destroyed some Joe Biden divisions. I'm okay with that. And now we're not doing this great. God, this would be a giant freaking mess in real life. Ooh. I get it, we have no fuel. What do you get to expect? No. Really quantum computing. Let's go down. I want to take national. I want to take these small little areas down here. We might not be able to do it. Hey, Yugoslavia's back. Look at that. Oh, well, there goes those guys. An adaptable army, good. Uh, work with a small. Let's take a restructure the IC. Crush a deep state. Decimate dissidents. Well, I'll do that probably when we do the military route. Let's restructure the IC. The intelligence agencies and operatives that have been secured from pre war America have proven to be the most useful so far, but there's still much more room for improvement. The current threats and pressures from this war and other areas of concern warrants a serious restructuring of our intelligence community. They will receive new assignments, new priorities, and have a variety of their offices reorganized for new objectives. Our newly reorganized intelligence collecting agencies will leave our enemies with nothing to hide from us. Also, I guess we do have the guys here available. Lexington and C -C -C Columbus. Fine, for now we'll stop attacking. We have no fuel anyways. Hang on, get ready for the next push. Because the Nazis are fighting us. Um, honestly, I'd like to... Uh, I'm going to take out the Nazis or Joe Biden first. I might want to take out the Nazis first. The less enemies we got to deal with, the better. We go around in the Kalamazoo. Oh, Zelensky re-elected. Okay, whatever. Don't really care. Let's see. Keep raising more division. Oh, intervening in the Rockies. Western Military Administration. Western Military Administration joins the Denver government. Western Military Administration. Arizona, Kingdom of Zion, Western. Oh, there you are. Air Command. Oh, you're basically dead. Rocky's defense. Well, he tried. Don't think I really want to do that. Reunify America. Yeah, the Nazis are just going at us like crazy. What would you expect? So how strong are they? Who are they led by? Six, up 61 divisions. Bert Colucci. That really sounds like a real Adolf name. Real German name. Colucci? Oh, whatever. Search an army. Uh, oh, over well, there, there. Yeah, there you go. Reorganize the Air Force would probably be good to do as well. But back to blue. The police force of this nation has borne one of the greatest burdens out of anyone in the country in the last two years. Keeping law and order on America's streets, anarchists, criminals, terrorists, and finally the turbulence this war has made the lives of our police officers a living hell. However, we no longer allow this trouble to continue. Our local, state, and federal law enforcement officers will finally get the support they need. Whether it be money, equipment, or nutrient programs, they will receive whatever is necessary for them to secure peace and order for society. Patriotic reintegration. Oh, that's cool. Um, or we could grab maybe someone else here. Mm, Michael Flynn, more defense and more breakthrough. That's pretty good. Army XP and XP gain. More, 5% more attack. I prefer the breakthrough defense. Yeah, looks like we could probably do another good old assault soon. I always do this side. Just organization breakthrough is just so good to get. Speed's okay. But it's that side that we really need. Oh god, the Patriot Front is actually smashing through them really badly. We gotta go in.
Do you actually do well here against these guys? Hopefully. Oh yeah. Oh god, Joe Biden's collapsing. The Nazis have almost captured DC. That is weird. That's a weird thing to say. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee's gonna be a pain in the butt. But we're pushing in through Michigan like this. That's very nice. Very, very nice. In this case, uh, we're gonna do this too. And we're also gonna grab a thing of more oil. That would help us out just a little bit. Nice. Uh, we're all out of time, but do you see me carrying? No. We do what we must. Come on. Let's get the Nazis done. There we go. Up out. Good. Get in there. Inner city of Detroit. Probably not a fun time to be there, but we're going to back the blue. Trial of the traitors. Uh, we'll see when we get there. Both of the National Guard. Uh, we'll see. Work with the state governments. Cooperation with state governments would help us legitimize our place in America. Germany officially proposes the European Army. I'll get back to blue. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that one. Let's do that one immediately. God, I would love to be able to take out the Nazis right now. Straight through if you can. There's a lot of green. Doesn't mean we're getting anywhere, but still. Quite an encirclement. I'm just waiting. Oh, are they going to collapse soon? What's going on here? Union of America. No, they're not even going to collapse soon. I also lose DC or something. to go here that would definitely help out the kind of nationalism get Tucker Carlson corn cost goes down save one's country we must have a love and appreciation for what makes our nation special the patriots that are fighting for this country must be motivated with more than just the idea of victory they must be motivated for the defense of the American identity itself and our public campaigns for the war effort will spread nationalistic pride and fervor for the American nation. Nationalism will no longer be the scary phrase that Americans will be punished for using. Instead, it will be the main force that motivates everybody. God, we have even more Nazi fronts. Wait a moment, we're slowly look like we're winning. But it's taking so long at what cost? Oh, invite an involved nation to the Denver government? Maybe in the Rockies, Mex New Mexico. Um, let's probably wait first before we do any of that stuff. Reboot the Intelligentsia. That would be bad. We're going to do this, though. Battle teams, systems. Oh, we are doing quite well in Michigan. I guess Trump doing well in Michigan is, uh, at this point, not uh, uncommon. They are desperate trying to protect Detroit. They are very desperate right now. Good. South Africa's on fire, but it's Africa. Oh god, they have a lot of divisions in there. Not ideal. Uh, less supply usage would be great. Go to another one so we can trade him away. Dutch King assassinated. Oh, we've got almost got Detroit here. They're fighting for the inner city. Just can't seem to take Tennessee, can we?
Can you guys do anything here? I mean, we're, we're wrapping them up very nicely. And now they're going to be stuck here and they'll die here. We're freeing up 10 more divisions, which would be very nice. Good. You guys get up there. Nice, good stuff. We can have nationalism. Oh, we'll wait for that one. Minimans last stand. Okay. The militia and other more unorganized forces fighting for us are now in a very precarious spot. As the pressures and losses inflicted by the war mount, they'll need to take a more active role in fighting our enemies at the front. It will not be easy for them, but desperate times call for desperate measures. However, we will not doubt their abilities and devotion to our cause. We are confident that they will do their best in defending this country and carrying us to victory whenever or wherever possible. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's a giant freaking mess. Just really waiting for us to take out the Nazis in Michigan. Thank God for the Patriot Front. Uh, well, not really, but, you know, whatever. Come on. We're doing actually pretty well on this side here. You gotta kill them off here, and then you can sub get more soldiers through here. Good, good. It's almost 24. There we go. Come join, y'all. Oh, they lost DC. Look at that. They are getting close to losing it. Ooh, so is the National Socialist. Oh, we must have taken Detroit or something? Maybe close. It's just a giant mess. Get in there, too. Push them into the, the lake. Literally push them into the lake. Or get a couple boats out and fight them from the lake. Because once this war with Joe Biden is over... Do we cut them off? Do we finally cut them off? Oh, thank God. Fighting in the mountains suck. Um, we'll have a stalemate probably for a little while. I'm glad I put on... Um, Anti-air. Anti-air. You have to have anti-air. In your divisions. This is United Loyalists. One thing that matters is that we really need to rally the people to support us in order to save America. We organize the Air Force. In our attempt to seize what we can in pre-war America's armed forces, we have obtained a large swath of the Air Force. However, in the ensuing chaos of the war, our attempt to put together an Air Force with these seized assets has been haphazard and unorganized at best. A situation that will be rectified immediately. Our Air Force will be reorganized and restructured significantly with new air wings, restructured units, new air bases, and new doctrines set. Once we get our military aviation in full working order, we'll be ruling the skies over America. Well, I doubt it, but good. There you go. Detroit's always so slow to fall. But once you get there, that'd be nice. Joe Biden's just really hanging out until they're done. The Adenbaugh division is looking like they're coming back. The uh, Black Liberation Army is coming back as well. Texas is doing fine. Mexico is doing okay. They're taking a while over here too. Right at a time. Recovery rate. Ooh, I like the Fury. Militia attack. Army speed is good too. Uh, more land forts. Use executive authority. A lot of people need more congressional support. Is we're back in the blue? Come on, take out Detroit, god dang it. Reintegrate Michigan. Oh, actually, since we're here. Send in a spy, see what you can do. Tank duel. Oh, look at that. Oopsie, I should have read that, but whatever. Can we actually take all that? We have negative. No. Um. Oh, God. Um, we're going to give up these claims for now because we weren't over here.
so eerie. See, it lost. All right, so there's that. I am glad we have a generic front line here. But I want you guys to finish these guys here, too. I want you to all hold. Output or construction speed, that'd be great. Now let them attack us for a little bit here. Um, we'll see what happens. But oh, we gotta crush Detroit first. There we go. And we're absolutely shredding them, so not worried about that. Good, look at that. Because we need to build up our fuel reserves as well. Let's reorganize the Air Force. Look at that. Oh. Okay then. Finance plane production? Oh, definitely. Our current rate of combat losses in the air is putting a lot of pressure on our Air Force. To keep our Air Force in action, we need to obtain more aircraft to replace losses and expand the efficiency of our air wings. We'll waste no time and fund our manufacturers to begin mass producing more combat aircraft. Our Air Force will soon receive the vehicles they need to keep us fighting the war, uh, air war over America. Drain the swamp. I'll look at that one next, I guess. Not all of America's enemies make their intent extremely obvious. Uh, massive corrupt establishment politicians and bureaucrats are sucking away resources and manpower from not just our government, but from the people too. We'll no longer tolerate any of this. Our government will be swiftly cutting it up for these wasteful and corrupt actors. Offices will be closed, budgets will be reevaluated, and people will certainly be fired. Just as Trump's had countless times on the campaign trail, we will drain the swamp. Well, as you can see on screen, uh, the Federal Command, Southern Federal Command, is not doing so well. And they've basically all united against us, including the Adenbaufen. And they've also gone to war with the Black Liberation Army. So this is not good. And we're going to try to go in. We'll see what happens. Oh, and there goes the Southern Federal Command. So, yeah, we saved up a little bit of fuel here and there. And uh, we got to go in. Nazi Floridian War. Well, well, we're doing okay in Ohio. Yeah, we're, we're smashing through pretty pretty nicely. Ron DeSantis, please. We'd like to help each other out, probably. That was actually one of the comments, too. Re oh, reintegrate Indiana? Uh, yeah, let's do that immediately. It'll take two months, but that's okay. Lobby for balance, use executive authority. Oh, what a small rally. Oh, we have 100%. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Remove unionist spies. Well, I mean, I guess we could try it. I don't think it's going to do very much now that they're all gone. Evacuate St. Paul Patriots' decision. Five brigades of liberty protection will be formed. Huh. We're actually doing really well so far. Well, for the most part. Rain the swamp. Then what? Spacious skies? As much as fighters in the intense combat over their use gets all the attention, winning the air will need more than just using fighters and ground attack aircraft. We need to construct more and more, more and increase our use of tactical and strategic bombers that can hit targets deep behind enemy lines. Once we use them to cripple enemy infrastructure, industry, logistics, and other critical behind the lines targets, we can expect enemy combat, combat e efficacy to be greatly reduced. Not only will we rule the skies over us, but our enemies as well. What is this? Uh, yeah. That's fine for now. We are blowing straight through the Nazis' stronghold. Oh god, we're now in West Virginia. It's going to be a pain in the butt to take for whatever. But we're, we're kind of blitzing through them, actually. I'm not sure where they're... I, mean, I guess they, you know... It's just one faction that has all the divisions in there. Good, that's good. We can't win in the south, we'll win in the northeast. And that was thin their divisions out too so we're actually doing all right that's not good that's really bad oh 
Oh, we can reintegrate Ohio as well. Look at that. Nice. I want you to race th through New England. If you can race through there, you might be able to capitulate them. Especially getting to Boston and whatnot. I, I'm sure, yeah, these are all cores. Virginia is not, so everything in the south doesn't matter. Everything in the northeast is what we really want. Get over that river. Go straight for New York City. If you can, of course. Go, you cannot stop. Get to Hartford. Massacre in Tampa. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God, they found us. Air recruitment drive? Even though we may have a good number of aircraft, we still need people to operate them. Seeing that we have a shortage of pilots, we'll start a new recruitment drive to do more into our Air Force. We'll advertise to the population that with the Air Force they can find good career opportunities, attractive salaries, and most importantly, the fulfillment of the patriotic duties. Hopefully, this new campaign for recruitment will bring in plenty of dedicated Americans willing to fly and fight for the good of the nation. Get in, get in there. State lost. Connecticut. Oh, whatever. Oh, do, where's the capital? Oh, they're, they're down there. Wait, seriously, where's the capital? Okay, that's good they went to war with the League of the South, too. It's good to see. Amherst, that's where Amherst is, huh? Let's take all of Maine. Oh. oh, Hartford's capital. Did not expect that. State lost. Well, we'll see about losing that state later. Giant freaking mess. Philadelphia is the capital now. Interesting. That's a case. Uh, I want you to concentrate close to Philadelphia. Drive straight to there. Oh! Move down there. Okay. I want to reintegrate these places. Get right here right now. Drive, drive, drive. Recover faster too. The next generation force. Military aviation technology is accelerating every year at a faster and faster pace. Knowing this, we must not be left behind in this race for the next advanced Air Force. We will accumulate and organize all the progress material and know how to create a next generation Air Force. This force will combine the latest in tactics and technology to make unrivaled on this continent, make us unrivaled, and maybe even the world. Just as pre-war America led the way to military aviation, we too shall lead in advancing such a field for the foreseeable future. We got Philadelphia, now what? We're slowly closing in on them as well, which is nice. You know what? Don't do that. Go to Plymouth. Take the supply base. Take the supply points. Oh, they just raised five more divisions. Crap. <laughs> well, that's not good. Can we get New Jersey at all? No. We're going to lose Philadelphia, too. Uh, so, you know what? We're going to stop attacking for now, because we just can't handle all these losses constantly. We're going to consolidate our forces, and we're going to take out Boston first. But I think we'll probably end it there. We could probably be, maybe read one more focus before we leave for today. Uh, you know, we're gonna revive. We could do the war machine, but now you can see we're doing okay. Revive the civilian economy. With the, uh, the civilian economy, the military economy cannot function as well. The civilian economy is essential to any economy, and we have to kickstart even there. So we'll do all we can here. Um, but yeah, overall we've done really well. I think you know once you take add in more anti-air into your divisions it really helps out shredding enemy anti-air and their effectiveness gets really down and then they can't really do much against you which i think is fantastic now we get also time to build up our uh, 
Air Force more too. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue on trying to restore America under our president. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.